All right, everybody. So, just rolled over to Blake from Gordon's Fab. Got Old Red. This thing is so much fun. And Blake's got his own version. This thing is sick. It's an F600. Used to be a film. There he is. Oh, What's dude. up, dude? See you, man. You too. Welcome to Vegas, dude. I was just giving him a little yeah, what dude. this is. Clifford. Call it Clifford. Hell yeah. It was uh, an old film truck. Uh, used to film like Star Wars, Back to the Future 3, I think, and like a bunch of old westerns. And uh, they use it to bring out all the film equipment and like uh, cameras and like cords and stuff. So dude, I this just thing bought so this cool. in Arizona probably about six months ago. And everything runs, drives, got AC, all the lift gate works. That's so cool. It'll probably be up for sale soon too, so I'll keep, keep an eye out on that. But for now, we, we've been using it as a work truck. It doesn't go very fast, but uh, it'll haul over the hill you put on the back. I had like an 8,000 pound mill on the back the oh, first wow. like, week I had it. Didn't even feel it. That's what they're for. Yeah, it's cool to see them both together. It really is. Yours looks little now. I know, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> big red is actually big red. Hell yeah. Yeah, welcome. We're Man, you got so much cool stuff over yeah, here. Yeah, kind of filled up, but uh, my neighbors, luckily my neighbors are really cool, so they let me get away from them. This was another film truck from the same guy. Um, this was a mobile darkroom. So they used it to like, uh, to get the film to react that they have to use like a red light and everything but this one's got 24,000 miles original seats all ac this guy decked out everything he had it was it even has a little ashtrays which are pretty rare option it's got a 390 with like a nice cam and like long tube headers it sounds really good nice all decked out he had this so he bought this truck a short bed four wheel drive and then had it converted with like a box like super long wow bed, but i'm gonna put generators in here or a generator in here and like kind of do like an off-road camper like a like an old school earth room. like an overlander yeah yeah hell yeah but uh we took off the doors so i'm gonna make a new door on the back dude nice amount of space yeah try to find like a for, wrecked, for a bed up there yeah try to find a wrecked camper from copart or something. yeah pull all the guts out all the good stuff out and put it in this and make it like a cool little off-road camper especially out here dude there's so many places for you to go oh i know yeah that's why we we want to i feel bad taking my super duty out in some of the places and it's a short bed so we don't have much room so this would be awesome what about this bad boy yeah this is the pre-runner called the trophy turd because it, it, the body's kind of beat but it has all the all the cool components all the it's got a race cage all cremali Colpane, uh, C6 transmission, GPS, full headsets for race radios. So this thing parties. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's rowdy. It gets a little rowdy. All, all uh, four length in the back with 4.0 sway away, seven tube internal bypass coilovers that uh, my buddy Wright Performance helped me rebuild. And we did a um, big 4.0 King fend reservoirs uh, last year we did a 533 stroker with fuel injection it's got like a, a cone industries rear end it's all trust oh wow dude this is wicked this thing is so cool bunch shoved in here yeah that's a big stroker big block we love big blocks yeah, I like how you did your light bar in the front. Yeah, factory so mount. Kind of I was gonna start selling these. That's a good idea. Like a little cool little bolt-on rack so you can keep the old school looking. Yeah. But have lights. And then this is Steve's truck that uh, we're gonna be doing a pre-runner just like mine, uh, but it'll be a lot nicer. <laughs> You'll paint the cage and all that. Huh? Yeah, it'll be it'll be decked out. We'll do some nice panel work and everything, and he'll have new new King coilover bypass and probably a larger tire. It'll be a, a more modern. Full, yeah. fiber, full fiberglass and everything. So, and then this is a uh, 1960 crew cab, factory four wheel drive. It was an Oroville cab. And this was on Hill Air Force Base in Utah. Um, I got this from Riley Hodson. Um, he hooked me up, gave me a good deal on it. And I put a crate 460 in it for the four speed. Oh, there's Dana. This is Dana. Hey, What's up, monkey? Uh, it's got a Snowfighter 60 front end. She knows the camera's out. So she's 
trying to get attention. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Um, and then we're, I, I'm thinking about, I don't know. This one's kind of on the back burner for right now because I, I really want to make it look nice, but keep the patina and make the inside nice like your truck, you know. Mm -hmm. But it just takes a little time. And then a slick side. It's cool because we have all four generation crew cabs. It is really cool. Right now. This was a game warden truck in Utah as well. So these trucks were working in the same state. And uh, I found it out in uh, Elko. And some guys back here, he was actually a highway patrolman. And his wife said that they could retire to Idaho and he'd sell it. So I bought it. Nice. And uh, we're going to do like a Cummins in it probably. Just because I want to make it a tow rig. And it'll, it'll, it'll be a nice truck. I just, it'll be one of those personal ones that kind of on the back burner. Yeah. For now. You get to it when you get to it. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not, it's hard to find a slick this clean, as most of you know. You know, it's super clean inside. Oh wow! The front floor pan had rags sitting on it. Uh, so that's the only part. But I mean, dude, the biggest deal is the roof. I know the roof is perfect. The roof looks super nice. So you West Coast guys, you're lucky. I know they don't fall apart out here. They we we preserve them. That's why I don't feel bad when they come back here because I'm yeah, just kind of like, all right. preserving them. Yeah, you know. I know some guys bring them up to like Washington and they sit and they're gone like within a few years. Yep. But here it's it's pretty dang dry. Yeah. So and then the last one here is a um, 77 Bronco, all original with all the trim. Sorry, my Christmas tree is still there. But uh, this is my girlfriend's. I, I The only reason we got it is because I said it would be for my girlfriend. She, she let me go get it. But um, we're going to drag this to the shop soon. It's just gonna get a little lit. It'll have a nice 5.0. Um, it'll be just a cool weekend. Weekend rig, go out on the trails and stuff, hit some fire runes and stuff, but and we'll get it polished. It's actually a red, but there's some oh, really? oxidation. It looks orange. Yeah, it does. It's like a, it's like a nice burnt red. But it's just cool to have an original Bronco. Yeah. You cannot find them, dude. Not I mean, anymore. You can, but they're like 10 different colors and you can Flintstone drive Beat them. Beat the heck. Yeah. So that'll be cool. It's, it's just, I know now since the new Broncos come out, it's, they've gotten so much more popular too. So it's true. It'll be cool to ride around in the old one. So sweet. Yeah, we can jam over the shop and uh, yeah, check I appreciate out. you showing it to us over yeah, here. No problem, dude. All right, we'll see you guys at the shop. Lake shop and uh, people say everything's bigger in Texas but I think it's everything is bigger in Vegas because look at this thing you got big red and then here's Blake's big blue this thing is nuts need to ask him about it I don't really know anything about it crazy <laughs> what up Long time no see, right? What's up? Long time no see. Yeah, dude, it's long distance tra travel over here. <laughs> I think Big Blue's a little bit bigger than Big Red, huh? I think it is. Tell me about this thing. Um, it's an old Burlington Northern Railway truck I bought from Kyle in Seattle. It was just a two-wheel drive cab. It had no bed on it. And then uh, I found a five-ton Marmon Harrington converted uh, GMC in Orange County, some old lady had in her backyard. Um, she she walked in on her husband with a tune, and she kicked him out, and he had this truck, and I ended up with it for a good deal. She, she was just a cool lady, and she yeah. pissed off at him. So, me and my girlfriend, Morgan, we um, we took the five ton, we took the cab off, and took the blue F600 cab, and modified it, and fit it on the five ton chassis. 
It has a uh, 8.2 liter Detroit. It's got an Allison Trans. It has 20,000 miles. So that's like my lucky number, 20,000 miles. But it's got full air brakes, power steering. Um, it'll probably do 65, 70 miles an hour. Uh, it's just a big, beefy truck. I don't know. I wanted to build a monster bump side. You did. And I don't know what to do with it now. I'm kind of like sell it to me. I'm stuck with this monster. I think um, I think that's a good idea. To sell it to you? Yeah. I think so, dude. I think you could, we could fit gold dust on that. For sure. <laughs> I mean, it'll pull anything you put behind it. It's, it's a brute. Dude, this thing is bad. Right? I bet Kyle it's regrets awesome how everything fit. Kyle for sure regrets getting rid of it. He does, yeah. This is the four wheel drive levers. It's automatic. All air brakes. I like my stuff kind of beat looking. You know? I think it just. You don't have to worry about when you park it. Yeah, it just makes it look gnarly. It kind of tells us. No one's gonna try to feel it if they don't think it runs. Well, they're probably scared to jump into it, dude. But I just wanted to make it kind of. It's kind of like a zombie version of Big Red. It is. It's just scary sure. looking. You know, I wanted to hang the chains for the steps and Heck stuff. Yeah. But and then we found that I found this bed out in Alamo from my buddy Cord. He gave it to me for free. It actually was like a 22 foot bed. Oh I wow. Out a bunch of it. So. That's a winch I got from Ryan in Orange County. Ooh, that's Ryan a winch right there. A shout out. A lot of my buddies, they'll send me parts and we'll help each other out. I'll trade stuff. And, but, uh, yeah, welcome. Here's the shop. It's small. We're not a big shop, you know, but we love what we do and I guarantee it'll be done right. You know, we don't have a huge team, but we have a lot of pride and we just enjoy making cool trucks. So, you see we got all of our grill bars. Vegas real estate is expensive. It's hard to find a good, decent spot without burning your butt off, you know. So, this is another one of Steve's trucks. It's awesome. Factory full drive. This one actually came out of Florida. Oh, this was, uh, Tom's. okay. This, this was, was Tom's, Tom's truck. truck. Yeah, Steve bought He it. drove it cross country. I just did a lift on it. Uh, it's got some nice ADS shocks. Uh, we're doing a polish. The passenger side's been polished all the way to the bed. We still have to do the driver's side. But it turned out sweet. We eliminated the blocks in the rear with the Atlas kit. We're actually gonna have a part number for bump side crew cabs for a four inch lift. Nice. No one makes that for, for a crew cab for yeah. extra weight. So it'll eliminate the rear block and you'll have a legit front spring without adding a, a bunch of blocks. So Heck yeah. But it looks really, it looks awesome. Sure does. I love the super lows. They're just, it's a classy look. Yeah, it's a great look. And then this is a, uh, an old mining truck. Let me turn the radio. This is an old mining truck that I got off this mine in Lita, Nevada. It was uh, like an old silver and gold mine called Sil the Sylvania Mine. And my buddy sent me a picture of it. He's like, hey, my buddy's got this truck on his property and he want it. And it's, it's a three-door crew cab, 64. It was factory four-wheel drive. I mean, look how they did the window bracing back in the day. <laughs> Wood, everything. But this thing sat on a mine for like 40 years. Was the price right? It was $100. All right, so yeah. it, was, it was okay. Yeah, it was, was a excited. fair deal. I was excited. But um, the floor is actually in great shape. I didn't replace any of the floor. What's the game plan? Um, like one of my customers in Ohio bought it. Okay. And um, it's got a rebuilt straight six. It's actually on the bump side of your cap frame because the old coach built frame was built horribly. It was pretty haggard. So I wanted to do a nice one piece frame. I had a bump side crew cap frame in my yard. So it actually fit on really nice. So yeah. I'm surprised. You wouldn't even know. But he wants the outside to be kind of beat. Okay. Because we're going to deck it out with a bunch of mining equipment in the bed and stuff and kind of keep the mining theme. Yeah. You know, I think it, it's cool. This, this truck could probably tell a million stories. I bet every single scratch and ding and yeah. dent has a good one behind it. It never had a back seat in it, too. It was only oh, really? cargo. Huh. And I actually got the backstory on this truck. It was two guys from Texas um, leased some property from the mine owner, and they lived in Reno, and they drove this truck from Reno all the way into the mine every day looking for gold. So really? Two brothers from Texas, yeah. That's pretty dope. So they had this built by a coach builder so they could throw cargo, mining cargo, in the back. So I think it's cool that it's, it's you know, it's, it's worked hard. So. That is really cool. So now it's kind of getting its love so and then um this is a dead side crew cab 
Uh, we're doing a Cummins compound turbo, 12 valve in it. It's gonna be Steve's truck, it's gonna be his work truck. It's, uh, it'll be a short box. We're gonna do nice Carly arms. It'll be a coil over front end uh, with a five speed MV4500. We do all of our own motor mounts here. Everything we do in the shop is one off. You know, we don't buy a motor mount kit. We like to have our own name on it. This is actually a foam motor. What? So I, can, I can do motor saws one guy. I can pick the whole thing up, dude, out of here. Dude, that's cool. By myself. And all my attachments bolt on my manifold, so I can mock up everything without having a thousand pound motor. Yeah. Here, you know, so I can do it by wow. myself. You know, not have to fish my forklift into the shop. And then just, just final installation, you just put yeah. the real one in. Yeah, you put the real one in, you don't mess it up. It, it helps a lot. These are expensive, but after you do like five, you're like, okay, I'll buy one. So, but no, we're doing Super Duty axles. It's gonna get a nice green paint job. We started patching up all the unnecessary holes in the firewall. Uh, we're doing a driver's side floor to get air dog. It's gonna get all the, all the nice stuff. So it's gonna be a full frame off truck this thing you see it's still got florida tax this was actually my first party really yeah i got this when i was 15 from my grandma she bought it brand new off the lot ford and wow. then, uh, i got my hands on it i caged it did a uh, you know full long travel i've been building it for like three years now but it's just cool because it was my first my first truck yeah the one that's never gonna go yeah yeah no i a lot of memories in this one it's got full hydraulic steering Dana 60s, soft 40s. I want to just have a crawler that I can have the AC on and go anywhere and just be comfortable and just crawl over anything I see. So, but, but yeah, we, we stay busy in here. As you can see, we uh, it's a small shop, but we have it so it works right, yeah. you know, and all of our machinery kind of where we need it. And we've, we've figured out how to do it. Soon we're moving to a, a shop. Probably a little bit bigger square footage, but with a yard, because I have trucks scattered all around town. Like Riley holds a few of them for me. Um, my buddy across town has a trucking company that has a big yard, and he, he lets me store a bunch of trucks there. So it'd be nice if I could get everything in one spot. At like least a most. Yard, parts. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go to my yard, and I'll, I had bought a part like a week before that I had out there, like an axle or something. Like, and I had it, so it'd just that's be funny. nice to have my own junkyard. So yeah. I think that's every guy's dream it is. life. It, that, <laughs> that is definitely a dream. Have their own I mean. Ford junkyard. Oh yeah. So, but no, it's, it's fun. We we have a blast in here. This was the closest yellow I could find. To that? A slick side short bed. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm spray some white on it or something. Or that or uh, I don't I don't, paint I don't the know. Bed. Paint the bed. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have some fun. I'll catch yeah, you guys yeah. in a second. Blew out for a little rip. Big monster, dude. It's like a big zombie. Dude, that steering was like a freaking school bus. It is, dude. You get the full feel. It literally feels like the motor is sitting right here. I know. It's like a big dump truck. Yeah, see you guys. 